This explains how to program the RFID grade one cylindrical and mortise locks, the FCE and XCE series from Town Steel. These are the school lockdown locks, so we'll be going over programming. When they're shipped from the factory, they will work with a construction key. The construction key is labeled as construction key. It's specifically for construction key. It'll work on any lock in factory mode. So when we place that key up against the reader, it'll open and both locks are in factory mode. Other keys will not work on this. If you have a user key, a, uh, an office key card, you'll get an error and they will not work. So in order to program these, we use the programming, clear, and register key cards that are provided with the locks. These are all labeled programming, clear, and register with a brief description and function on the side of the card. In order to program them, I'll just program this one over here. Programming, then we could use the clear key card. You'll hear the beeps. And then the last card always has to be the register card. And it gives the double beep. And it's now programmed to these three cards. You can now start programming and adding keys. The construction key will no longer work on this lock. You get the error, three beeps. On this lock, obviously it still works. In order to program locks, we use the programming key. This will download information into the lock. So we're going to program this. Program key. It, it'll, the blue light will continue flashing for eight seconds. We'll add an office key card. They're marked as office key cards. You get that double B. A user key card. And the lockdown cancel key card. We'll also program a remote, which has an RFID chip in there as an office key. And we can program the remote by pushing the emergency button. And it'll continue to flash for eight seconds. We'll wait for that to time out. I said none of these will still none of these will work on this. You'll get an error code every time. It's timed out. We'll try the office key that is on the remote control unit. That works. Office key will keep the lock open until you use the office key again, then it will close. So this is open. This is closed. We have another office key card that's programmed here. Office key card open. And we can use the office key card in here that's already programmed for this lock. And it's locked. So let me office key card one more time. Open the lock. Let's try the emergency lockdown. Press the emergency button on the remote control unit. In a second, the lock is locked down. And you'll see the LED flash on the front side. And on the back side, there's an indicator also. This, the only way to cancel that, if you push this again, it will not cancel it. You'll hear a beep. It receives a signal, but it doesn't do anything. The only way to get in is with an authorized card. In this one, we have an office card. I can put that up there. It'll open for two seconds. Now it's closed again. A user card will work also for two seconds. One, two, and it locks it down again. That can be modified and you can have a special card that does that or these cards that do it however the protocol is at your facility. In order to cancel the lockdown we use the lockdown cancellation key card. Put that up there you get three, two beeps. It doesn't open the lock but it does eliminate the signal and it cancels lockdown so now cards will work. So the user key card keep it open for about five seconds and then it locks down again. So all the cards now work, the lockdown is canceled. If we want to program a, a, a group of locks, we can do it a couple of ways. We can swipe the keys, which is, is relatively easy, or once you program one lock, you can have a database card. The database card is right here. I've already uploaded the information in the database card, and in order to download it into a new lock, all I have to do is take the database card when it's in construction mode, 
and just place it up against the reader of the lock. It's downloading information, so you wait until you get that double beep. And now this lock should no longer be in construction mode. Here's the construction key card. It won't open it. We'll try this. It opens it. We'll try the lockdown. It locks down both locks because the remote is programmed for both locks. And in order to cancel that, we'll go ahead and use the lockdown cancellation key card. Double beep, double beep, and they're both canceled. You can see the indicator is out and they'll both work with the... Okay. Just a quick note, if you use a user key card, this is in office mode right now, so it's open until you use your office card again to uh, lock it down. If you use a key, user key card, there's no reason to, but in case you're, you get an error message, you get, you get beeps and it will not lock the lock down. You have to go ahead and use your office key card to lock that down. Okay, it's both locked. And then you can use your user key card, which, which makes sense. And that'll open up for five seconds, and then it'll lock down again. This remote doesn't work. On that lock, it works on this lock because it was programmed in the database key card. If I want to delete this remote from this lock, I can go ahead and use the clear key card, put it up there, and I can go ahead and put this up there. And that deletes that, and it can delete that also. So let me try that. It gives me an error message, and it wasn't programmed to this lock to begin with. If I want to add it to this lock, I just go ahead and program card, and then whatever card you're going to add. So now this will work after that time's out. Timed out. Now this one works. And to go over it one more time, if I want to take that remote off, use the clear key card, and then put the, and then it doesn't do anything to unlock or lock the lock, but it does delete this remote from that lock as soon as that time's out. Even the clear key card has an eight second time, and then when I try this again on the lock, it no longer works. So that's pretty simple as far as adding, deleting key cards or remote control units, downloading the database card into the unit, and programming the locks for specific keys.